Today I got you my full on review on this makeup look using the new Chanel Le Beige 2022 collection. Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. So what did I end up getting for this Chanel Le Beige 2022 collection that just launched? Well, uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> I picked up the Soleil Tan Medium Bronze. This is the new cream bronzer shade 392 and you may have already watched my review on this product. I went ahead and did a, just a complete review dedicated to this specific shade. I also went ahead and did a second video that I actually compared the three cream bronzers side by side on my face. I mean like a complete comparison like light bronze right here, medium bronze right here and then the deep bronze right here. All those details are on a separate video I uploaded when you're watching this video I think was yesterday so if you miss it I will make sure to put it up on the cards and also on the description box below. I hope that that will serve you as a guide to which shade it will be ideal for you if we have a light skin tones or close skin tones. So that's the first item that I got. I also got the oversized kabuki brush as well as the face, body and hair illuminating oil. And I also got the oversized healthy glow sun kiss powders, the three shades. I know. Judge me if you want to, but here I am. I got Sunshine Light, Sun Kiss Medium, and Sun Bathe Deep, the three different shades. On this collection, there are some repromotes as well as there are two of these oversized healthy glow highlighters. There are two different shades and they haven't come yet here to United States, but perhaps when I'm uploading this video, may, they may be available already. So. Make sure you check the description box below because right there I have everything very organized of the things that I'm using today as well as the rest of the collection. So I will highly suggest to look right there. Also my links are affiliate links. So when you're using my links to shop, it's a way to help my channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. If you don't wanna use them, that's okay too. Okay, my friends, so as you can tell, I have my face completely clear wash skincare on, sunscreen on, and that's pretty much it. And I wanna jump in first onto the face, body, and hair illuminating oil. This is big, 8.4 fluid ounces. It's made in France. It has a shelf life of 18 months. It says right here on the back of the box to shake it really well, and you take it out. Yes, you can tell you have to shake it really well because if you can see, there's a deposit of what it seems the shimmer in it. So just shake it. And then take a look at this beauty right here. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And the CC on the top. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I thought for a reason that it was, I don't know, that it was gonna be another mechanism to dispense this, but it's not. And I'm gonna take off these rings really quick and I'm gonna apply it. And I'm also gonna apply it on my face. I know you're gonna call me crazy. Let's gonna, you know, let's go ahead and apply it on the face, on the hair, on my shoulders. Let's just, let's just see what's the deal with this baby right here. Okay, I'm gonna just put some drops right here. And this is a dry oil. Okay, it does have some sparkles. Not chunky glitters, it smells so good. It smells exactly as Everything Chanel, not super, oh, this is beautiful. Okay. You know, it gave a subtle glow, but it's not super glowy and it doesn't give a tint to the skin either. So I think this is gonna be just ideal to add a little bit of that sun kiss kind of look to the skin. And there's no shimmer or glitter particles. Okay, I know I'm afraid to put it on the face, but let's just do it. Let's just do it because, I mean, it says that it's for the face, so I just wanna make sure to demo it for you. Right there, she looks fine. 
Does it look bad? No. It looks good actually. It gives a healthy glow. It's not gold. Okay, it's looking good so far. Okay, and then I don't like to use a lot of oil on my hair. And I'm just going to put the remains on my hair. There you have it. It's a very lightweight kind of oil. It's not super thick. As you can tell, it doesn't make my hair look greasy. Okay. Mission accomplished. <laughs> we try the oil. Okay. Now I'm going to be using the Chanel Levage Healthy Glow Foundation in the shade B40. I feel that it's mixing really well with the oil because this foundation, if applied a minimal amount, is very thin in consistency and it does give that healthy, kind of like natural look. To me, it's not, I know the name says that it's glowy, but to me, it's not super glowy. It's more of like a radiant finish kind of foundation. And now with this oil underneath, it looks a little bit more luminous, but without being dewy, which is something that I think I used to love dewy, but not anymore. I think as I'm aging, if you don't know, I'm on my fourth floor. <laughs> I'm over 40 years old, you know, having more fine lines I don't like too much of a super dewy dewy you know kind of product because sometimes they can emphasize all those fine lines I don't like matte either but I do like radiant and this is a beautiful healthy looking yeah healthy looking kind of finish I really love the combination of both the oil and this particular foundation i will make sure to try it with other foundations too and by the way this is glass so be careful <laughs> you don't want to drop it it will be a chaotic mess for concealer my chanel corrector and this is in the shade pesh I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and now I'm going to spread this concealer. To set the concealer, I'm going to go with a natural finish loose setting powder by Chanel. And I'm using my Sonia G Inoshige Pro Brush. Concealer is all done and set. And now let's go for bronzer. So I already know how this works on me and I feel like I already have, I mean, the full review on this one right here. In addition, I do have the other video where I'm comparing the three of the cream bronzers. So to me, it makes more sense to just try at least one of these right here, the Oversized Healthy Glow Sun Kiss Powder. I'm gonna go with the shade Sun Kiss Medium, and this comes with 15 grams of product, which is very generous, so, and it's made in Italy, and it has a shelf life of 18 months. And I promise you that all the other shades, I'm gonna try them, I'm gonna be doing a separate video comparing them side by side so that way you can see the entire thing but I just think that I don't want to make a big mess they are three bronzers right now it's gonna be too much if I do all of them at once right now so there you have it this is Sun Kiss Medium it's a very pretty shade mm. this is so soft feels like silky powder, but it feels so silky soft. Okay, let me just show you. Right here. 
here. And I'm gonna use the oversized kabuki brush. I feel so bad to mess up all the beautiful. <laughs> you see all the embossing? It's so pretty. It's basically the embossing of the covers, you know, the compacts. This is how much the brush picked up, which is plenty. And again, this is a shade medium. It does have, not shimmer, but it does have a slight sheen. It's not a highlighter, it definitely is not. But it does have that golden undertone that is just ideal for summertime. It's just so pretty, very beautiful. This is beautiful. Do you see that healthy glow? It looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. And it just warmed up a little bit my face in the most sun-kissed look way. I mean, this is so lovely. Now for this Levage 2022 collection, they are re-promoting the Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette in Warm, which actually happens to be one of my favorite ones from this specific line. I do have a full review on this one from when it came out, when was it? I think last year or the year before. So if you wanna see that, you can go ahead and watch it, but I will highly suggest if you don't have any of these specific Healthy Glow eyeshadow palettes, this one, Warm, is my favorite one. It's very lovely. I'm going to go first with this shade right here and apply it all over the eyelid. And I'm using a Sonia G Classic Crease. Refer number 27 brush and I'm going to go to this beautiful coral shade. And I'm just going to... Take it on the outer third and use the remaining on my crease. Sonia G Mini Booster and I'm going to go to the deepest shade. And I'm just going to take it on the outer V. And lightly deepen it out. Isum W23 brush and I'm going to go to this beautiful peachy coral shade I'm gonna apply it on the molar lid and then with a Smith 253 brush I'm gonna go to this beautiful sparkly shade and I'm just gonna tap it right in the middle of the eyelid Sunny G Flat Definer, I'm gonna go to the deepest shade and I'm taking it on my lower lash line. I went ahead and applied a little bit of mascara, eyeliner, and now into blush. Now from this collection, there's not a blush or a re-promote or a new blush, but we all know that this year we are supposed to be receiving the new water tint blushes from Chanel. They come in the same format as the Levage Water Fresh Tint. These right here with the suspended beads, they're gonna be in a blush format, four different shades. They are supposed to come anytime soon. Crossing my fingers right here, but I'm gonna be using this blush right here. This is the number, I think it's 20. There you go, it's this beautiful bronzy shade. you can apply it directly and this will give you that very nice bronzy kind of look see i love this shade and it's not luminous it's actually a very natural finished blush and you can apply with your fingers with a brush however you want to i honestly with this kind of sticks usually just use my finger 
and look how easy it is to blend. It looks so pretty. Such a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm gonna go with that highlighting fluid also from the Levage collection. I think this was launched two years ago. It's still available on the website. The shade is Sun Kiss. Oops, <laughs> took a little bit too much. <laughs> a little bit too much right here. It's a beautiful, I know it looks deep, but it's a beautiful bronzy shade. And actually, doesn't cause like a, a shadow on the skin. It's very, very lovely. And as I was mentioning before, there are some repromotes of the Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks. Most of them, they are in the reddish tones. So I went ahead and decided to pick up the shade Beat. Again, it's not new, but it's a repromote. I didn't have it on my collection and I thought, you know what? Why not? This is just a gorgeous orange red shade. Isn't it? this is stunning? Mm. And I'm not gonna apply any lip liner. I'm just gonna go straight with this. Oh, this is so beautiful. So shiny, glossy. Stunning. Hmm, such a pretty shade for summertime. I think it looks so beautiful. In love in love with this shade. I'm gonna go with a Soleil Tan Medium Bronze and I'm just gonna chisel out a little bit my jawline because why not? We are talking about summer is coming. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm loving this so much. So much. You have to tell me my friends. How you like the final look of this Levage 2022 collection? Let me just tell you a little bit about what I think about these products. Starting first with that illuminating face, body, and hair oil. I think this is a great product. If you like non-sticky, non-greasy, dry oils that yet makes your skin feel hydrated, moisturized, and that it gives you a beautiful sheen to your skin, you're gonna love, love these. I love the scent, it's not overwhelming, it's not that it's gonna clash with your fragrance. Oh, fragrance, we need to apply some fragrance. I know it will make more sense to go with that Chanel beige, but instead I'm gonna go with Chanel Paris Paris. This is the newest fragrance from Chanel, why not? It's so beautiful, ideal for spring summertime is just gorgeous. These beautiful notes of rose, pink, pepper, that just, mm, it's so vibrant. It's such a beautiful scent. I have a full on review on this one. If you wanna know more about it, then you know where to find it. Okay, moving on right here. We already spoke about the oil. Like I said, the scent just dissipates kind of like right away. Now quickly on this bronzer right here. To me, this is my ideal shade of the cream bronzers from Chanel. The medium, it is my shade. I love the formulation, it's so good, so beautiful too. It applies seamlessly. And if you're wondering which shade could be the best for you, I invite you to please check my video where I'm comparing side by side all three of the shades. Now let's go to the oversized bronzers. This is gorgeous too. It apply so easily, airbrush, super finely meal, and it does have this gorgeous golden glow without being orangey, without being too yellow. It's still a neutral tone. If you like the Tom Ford Soleil bronzer in gold dust, you're gonna like this a lot. And that in particular is, yeah, the one in gold dust by Tom Ford is my favorite one. This one, I'm sure it's gonna become my favorite one too. It's a beautiful shade. It's not too deep though. I do have a light to medium skin tone and I think, you know, it's spot on. It just gave me that golden look that is just 
Chef's Kiss Beautiful. And then the rest of the products, we have already seen them. From the eyeshadows, as we see, like I was telling you, one of my favorite ones, the lipstick. I love the Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks. They are absolutely gorgeous. And this shade bead, oof, heat. Yeah. It's lovely. Oh, and my opinion about mixing this baby as a face oil with a foundation, I think it's a great idea. I don't feel that my foundation is slipping or sliding or that it changed my, you know, the foundation finish too much. I think it just gave a very soft radiance that it looks very beautiful. So to me, it's, you know, it's it's something that you may want to experience and try, you know, certain days that perhaps you're running some errands, you're not doing too much, and you just want to, you know, play around with makeup. I will be playing around with this oil because I think it's fantastic. I'm in love with all of these products. The brush, I keep telling you, my friends, get the brush. You must get this brush. It's so soft, so amazing, and it just spreads both powder and cream product to perfection all the products right here were incredible and this lavage collection also comes with nail polishes i do have a chanel nail polish right now but it's not from this collection i cannot wait to get my hands on the white one it wasn't available when i was checking on the website yeah it wasn't available but again i will be leaving on the description box below also i will be leaving there's a new collection of lip and nail care from chanel there are some beautiful shades of nail polishes um oil for your lips too that looks very very beautiful but it's not part of the levage collection and i'm just crossing my fingers that we will get the oversized highlighter powders because that will complete my collection okay my friends and this is my chanel levage 2022 makeup look let me know what you think about it do you like it what products are you excited to get let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring the post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye.